Let's say I entrust this precious little girl of mine to one of you because I have to go away on a long journey and I will not be back for 15, 20 years. And when I come back, I find my little girl dressed like a tramp. You've painted her eyes. You've dressed her in a sensual fashion. You have done everything in your power to make my little girl attractive, not to godly men, but to lustful, carnal men. I submit to you that that is exactly what many churches in America are doing right now. Many pastors in America, they're taking the church of Jesus Christ, dressing her up like a whore so she will be attractive to carnal people who have never been regenerated of the Holy Spirit. That is exactly what's happening. We must stand against it. Don't have your sermons full of humor and comedy and quaint sayings and little moral stories. Preach the Word. Love people. Preach the Word. But if they will not come because there's not something more than Jesus in your church, they will not come. Don't talk bad about the church. But be a prophet and point out that not everything called the church is the church. And be a prophet and stand up and fight for the church. If my dear wife, this would never happen, but if she went to Walmart at 11 or 12 at night to get something, and a group of violent men grabbed a hold of her, and you walked by and saw the crime happening, and you did nothing out of fear and self-preservation. The next day when I discover the matter, I will hunt down those men. And after I find them, I will come after you. Amen. Preachers, we have children to protect. Yes, we're family men. We have wives to protect. Yes, we are husbands. We have a bride to protect. So we preach the truth, live the truth. This is our calling. When I think that God would entrust a bride to me, when you think that he would entrust a bride to you, oh, what glory, oh, what terror. 